Welcome back to Horror Recaps. My name is Freddy, and in a moment, you're going to listen to a frightening tale narrated by me. Beware, fear awaits you. The film starts with a family sitting in the sun and relaxing under the warm sun rays. Bill and his new wife Kim are watching their kids, Brad and Dawn, who are swimming in a kid's pool. Bill tells his son, Brad, not to bother his sister, but the boy gets agitated and screams that they are not siblings. While the step-siblings are splashing, Brad shows Dawn his egg roll and wants her to show him hers. Suddenly, the parents hear the sound of Brad screaming, and when they rush to him, they see a cut on his finger. The scene then shifts to several years later, where Dawn is now a teenager, she is a spokesperson for a Christian abstinence group called The Promise. The group urges young boys and girls to preserve their virginity until they find someone with whom they want to spend the rest of their life. During her speech, she locks her gaze on a guy named Toby, and once the speech is over, Dawn meets with her friends, Alicia and Phil. They then introduce her to Toby, and the two appear to be instantly attracted to each other. When Dawn returns home, we see that her mother's health is deteriorating, and her father is looking after her. Later, when she's brushing her teeth in the bathroom, someone unexpectedly approaches from behind, and it turns out to be her brother, Brad. The next morning, Dawn enters her school, where she is bullied by others for being an abstinence advocate. Ryan, who likes her, tries to approach her but is immediately blocked by one of the bullies. Later in the class, the students learn about the reproductive system, but since the school is conservative, the female private part is covered in the books. Ryan asks the teacher why studying female reproductive organs is considered taboo, but male reproductive organs are not. Dawn then raises her hand and responds that women are different since they are born with a sense of modesty. Hearing this, the entire class starts to laugh at her, but Toby stands up for her and says he agrees with that statement. After school, Dawn and her friends go to the theater, only to discover that the movie they want to see is R-rated. Therefore, they end up watching a kid's movie, and while their friends make out, Dawn and Toby continue to stare awkwardly at each other. The scene then shifts to Brad, who is relaxing with his girlfriend, Melanie. When Melanie asks what happened to his injured finger, he tells her that Dawn bit it when they were kids. Later, Dawn and her friends visit a lake that is a popular makeout site in their neighborhood. While the others go swimming, Dawn and Toby spend some time alone together and discuss their purity. Dawn says she's a virgin, while Toby claims to have had intercourse a year ago and is still struggling with the guilt. Dawn then comforts him, saying that he is stronger than ever, because even after his experiences, he has been able to avoid his lustful temptations. That night, Dawn is lying in bed, fantasizing about marrying Toby. She then touches herself, but quickly feels guilty and stops herself. The next morning, Dawn arrives late to school, but this time, she pays no attention to Toby. She later calls him from the locker room and expresses her concern about her attraction to him. Toby shares his affection for her as well, and Dawn suggests they quit hanging out in order to keep their minds pure and not succumb to seduction. At home, Dawn overhears Brad and Melanie arguing with each other. After Melanie leaves, Dawn tries to speak with her brother, but Brad claims that all of her abstinence is a hoax and that she has been saving herself for him. He then urges his stepsister to be intimate with him, which disgusts Dawn and causes her to leave in anger. Upset with the incident, she calls Toby and invites him to hang out at the lake. They then confess to one another that they have been imagining each other undressed. The two jump into the lake and begin kissing, but Dawn asks him not to go any further, reminding him of their purity. Following that, the two go to a nearby cafe and wrap themselves in a blanket. They start kissing again, but Dawn becomes uncomfortable and tries to convince them to return. Unhappy with Dawn's response, Toby starts to get really aggressive with her. He then accidentally shoves Dawn's head into the rock, knocking her out as a result. Now, while Dawn is unconscious, Toby tries to force himself on her, but he suddenly screams in pain. Dawn is confused by everything that is going on and discovers blood on his hand, 
Toby cries in horror as he notices his egg roll has fallen to the ground. He then leaves the place screaming while Dawn sits in shock, processing what just happened. That night, Dawn thinks about Toby, who could have been her husband, and replays his screams in her head. In a moment of rage, she rips away the marriage posters from her wall. The following day, she is invited to give another speech at the Promise Conference. However, Dawn becomes so anxious that she only mumbles a few odd words. Afterward, Ryan approaches her and asks her if she is okay. He then drives her home and asks her out on a date, but she refuses and walks away. After a while, Ryan feels stupid and again returns to her house. However, he's confronted by Brad, who punches him hard and warns him to stay away from Dawn. Still uneasy over the assault, Dawn decides to go back to the cave to deal with her trauma, but she screams in horror when she sees a small crab crawling on Toby's penis. Dawn believes she is now an unclean woman, so she throws her purity ring down a cliff. And once she reaches home, she carefully removes the sticker from her anatomy textbook. Dawn is taken aback when she sees the detailed diagram of female genitalia for the first time. After doing some research on the internet, she comes to the conclusion that she has vagina dentata. It is a folk legend in which a woman's vagina is claimed to contain teeth. And if they engage in sexual contact, it could result in harm, emasculation, or death for the man involved. The next day, Dawn goes to a gynecologist to find out what is wrong with her. She informs the doctor that she wishes to get checked out to ensure that her body is not going through any mutation. The doctor assures her that she is experiencing womanhood and that no judgments would be passed on her sexual life. When he realizes Dawn has never been to a gynecologist before, he takes advantage of her and molests her under the pretense of doing a test. He asks her to breathe through the pain and is immediately gripped by something. The man twists her around in an attempt to pull his hand out, and when he eventually released, Dawn noticed that his fingers have been amputated. Dawn screams out in fear as they both are horrified by what just happened. On her way back, Dawn encounters a police officer driving Toby's car who orders her to stop her bike on the side of the road. She then decides to return to the lake to check if there's something weird going on. When she arrives, Dawn finds the cops carrying up Toby's body. Back at home, Dawn's ill mother, Kim, suddenly collapses on the floor. Unfortunately, her misogynist stepbrother, Brad, and his girlfriend ignore her and continue to have intercourse while she lies on the floor. And later, when Dawn finds her mother in such a condition, she immediately rushes her to the hospital. Afterward, Dawn awakens in the hospital after experiencing a nightmare, and her father sends her home to rest. As she arrives home, she finds Brad and his girlfriend arguing once again. Annoyed by this, she heads to Ryan's and informs him that she must turn herself into the police. Dawn tells him that she has nearly killed two people because she has teeth down there. However, Ryan doesn't understand what she's trying to say. Thinking that Dawn is worried, he consoles her and gives her some medication, suggesting that it will relax her. In the next scene, Dawn is in the bath while Ryan arranges the room with candles and plays relaxing music. Moments later, Dawn comes out and starts looking for her clothes, stating that she intends to go to the police station. Ryan, on the other hand, informs her that the pills might make her dizzy, so she should go tomorrow. Dawn then pours wine on herself and rests on Ryan, who promises her that he is always there for her. He then climbs on top of her and tries to have a little fun with her. At this point, Dawn also grants her consent, and they end up making love without her teeth involved this time. Meanwhile, the doctors find a rare structure in Toby's body. They have no idea what it is because it looks like a shark or eel tooth, but a test confirms it belongs to a human. Elsewhere, the gynecologist is in surgery, reattaching his fingers to his hand. When the medics ask him how his fingers were severed, he refuses to reveal anything. The next morning, Ryan and Dawn are having intercourse once again. Just then, Ryan receives a phone call from a friend, and he boasts proudly that he and the friend had bet on whether Ryan could score with Dawn. 
This enrages Dawn, and Ryan mocks her abstinence, claiming that he never thought it was sacred. Suddenly, her teeth bite off Ryan's egg roll, and Dawn walks out while Ryan cries for his mommy. Dawn then goes to the hospital and finds out that her mother is dead. At home, Bill berates Brad for basically killing his wife, but in response, Brad states that he should never have married her in the first place. Given that he has always had feelings for Dawn, he shows his anger at Bill for making her his sister. As their disagreement grows, Brad releases his dog on his father, but Bill replies that Dawn also loves him, causing Brad to stop. Later, Bill and Melanie head to the hospital, and Melanie apologizes to Dawn about her mother. She says that they heard their mother screaming, but Brad told her that they shouldn't be worried, because she does this frequently. Furious, Dawn heads back home to seek revenge. She dresses up and walks into Brad's room. She tries to seduce him, which surprises Brad. He questions why she suddenly wants to do this, but Dawn teases him, saying that he's scared. The two then engage in sexual intercourse, during which Brad claims that both of them always knew that it would happen eventually. In the middle of the act, Brad recalls when he was younger and his finger was bitten by Dawn, that it wasn't her mouth that bit him as he was molesting her. As Brad realizes this, Dawn's vagina bites off his egg roll and she releases it onto the ground. He then commands his dog to attack Dawn but the animal starts eating his egg roll instead. And seconds later, Dawn exits the room, as Brad pleads with her to stay while screaming in pain. After that, Dawn hops on her bicycle and rides away from home to get out of town in search of a new life. Her bike tire punctures on the way, so she starts hitchhiking to get away from the cops. Soon, an old man shows up and offers to give her a ride. While on the way, Dawn briefly nods off, and when she awakens, she discovers that the old man has locked the doors. He creepily licks his lips and insinuates a sexual favor in exchange to letting her go. Dawn hesitates at first, and then looks toward the camera, and the old man, with a sinister smile. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.